In 2013, Justine Sacco became one of the first victims of what we call cancel culture. She was a 30-year-old PR exec and she was on her way to South Africa and she was going to visit family there on holidays. But as she waited for a flight, she got on Twitter and here's what she posted. Are you ready for this? Going to Africa. Hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding, I'm white. You can take that a couple of ways. If you're very generous, you would say, well, she's, she's trying to make a comment about this privileged bubble that white people live in. They don't face those daily fears that millions around the world have to. And if you're not generous, you say, well, she's just a racist, isn't she? But either way, what happens is she, she posts this, turns her phone into flight mode and gets on the plane for 11 hours. Now, while she's blissfully unaware, what happens is one of her 150 followers passes on that post to someone who has 15,000 followers who then posts it. And while she's flying around the world, suddenly the number one worldwide trend becomes hashtag has Justine landed yet? Because people are now raging against her all around the world, this Justine Sacco and her casual racism. And they're raging that she should be fired from her job. They're saying someone needs to meet her at the airport and take her photo and post it for everyone to see this miserable woman. People from her own company start saying, we'll never work with her again. The company themselves hurriedly post, Justine's not contactable, but we think it's outrageous too. And she finally touches down and switches on her phone, and I guess it kind of melts down at that point as everyone in the world's after her. But her, her company calls, she's fired. Her accommodation calls and says, you can't come here, people are refusing to come in and work. Her family in South Africa say, you can't have a holiday here now, you won't be safe. Months later, she recounts all this to journalist John Ronson and says, I still can't get a job. I still can't get a date. The internet never forgets. The internet never forgives. What do I do? And yet people online are posting about how awesome this was. People are saying, hashtag, has Justine landed yet, is the best thing ever to happen on Twitter. They're exulting in getting her for what she said. Now, why? What, what is this culture of, of piling on? What is this culture of outrage? In Ronson's book, he wrote a book called So You've Been Publicly Shamed, and he tells a bunch of these stories. But he says, I started to think Justine's shamers must have been gripped by some kind of group madness. And you've probably seen this, the kind of the ripples of outrage spread. Not just the condemnation of what was said, but the call for consequences. It happens every day now. Margaret Court, she needs to have her name removed from that stadium. And J.K. Rowling, we need to remove all her Harry Potter books from the shelves. That needs to be the consequence of what they've said. We call it cancel culture because it's like a credit card. There's a questionable transaction. We better cancel the whole thing from further use. 